about planet Earth. Planet Earth is the home of every life form known to us in the universe. Its age is about one third of the age of the universe, and unwitted it is a thing of beauty, a slightly squashed sphere with a heavy metal core and a lighter surface crust wrapped in a thin sliver of sweet air to breath, with vast oceans, fertile plains, magnificent mountains, freshwater rivers, streams, lakes, and aquifers orbiting a star which warms us and gives us energy. But how did our home come into existence and what it's made of? 4.6 billion years ago, Earth was created from the remnants of dead stars that collected in a giant, dirty gas cloud. The gas cloud became denser in its center and formed an accretion disk. Small and big particles started clumping together and building larger objects until they formed the objects we call planets today. This process took from 10 to 20 billion years and is still not very well understood. At this time, Heart was a hot hell constantly being hit by asteroids with seas of lava and a toxic atmosphere. But something was about to change drastically. Heart cooled down, water from the inside of the heart wandered to the surface and rained down on heart only to vaporize again and become clouds. Millions of asteroids brought more and more water to our planet. All the water on the heart has about this volume compared to heart. Today the surface of heart is 71% water and 29% land. 97.5% is sunny water, while only 2.5% is fresh water. The fresh water is 69% ice and snow. 30 are groundwater, and only about 1% make up the remaining groundwaters. But even this small part is mostly frozen. Only a tiny part of our water is actually lakes and rivers, and an even tinier part is bound in living things. So gradually the heart cooled down and the surface forming a thin crust. But inside the heart, hot rock continues to swirl about, moving the crust from below and breaking it apart. This process is called plate tectonics and is happening right now. Let's just say that the crust of heart consists of separate giant plates that move around. As they met, they crumble and create mightily mountains or violently plunge back down deeper into the heart, creating deep trenches. This is the way the highest place on Earth was formed, Mount Everest, and the deepest, the Mariana Trench. From our perspective, Heart's mountains and trenches are mighty indeed, but when you look at the heart in a cross section, you can see how tiny they actually are. The part we stand on is, on is the crust, which is about 50 km thick, so it can vary between 5 and 70 km. By the way, the deepest hole ever drilled by man is 12,262 km deep. After the crust comes the mantle, it's a silicate rocky shell and about 2,900 km thick. The mantle consists of the upper mantle and the lower mantle. The upper mantle has different regions too. Its upper part, which is viscous and carries the crust, is called the lithosphere. After that, there comes the asthenosphere, which consists of less mobile, mostly solid material. The lower mantle reaches deep down to the outer core of art. Art's outer core is a liquid layer of iron and nickel about 2,266 km thick. The temperatures vary from 4,000 to 5,700 grades. And in the center is the inner core. It's mostly solid, a ball made of an iron nickel alloy with a radius of about 1,200 km. 70% of the size of the moon and about the temperature of the surface of the sun it is slowly growing at an estimated rate of about 1 mm per year. This small layer of crystallized melt products of former molten mountain is where we live. 
Dry hair consists mostly of nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon, a variable amount of water vapor, and small amounts of other gases. Humans are very dependent on the lowest layer of the atmosphere, the troposphere, where the weather is. It's 12 km thick on average. Above that is the stratosphere, which is where the ozone layer protects us from the sun's most aggressive type of light. Above that is there the mesosphere, the coldest place on Earth, with an average temperature around minus 85 grades. At about 80 km up, the thermosphere starts. The transition to space is a fluent one without clear borders, but humans decide that space starts here. At about 100 km, Earth stops and space begins. Through the atmosphere, extends a bit further. In this region, we find the ionosphere, the aurora borealis, and the ISS, and the other most layer in the exosphere. Stretching up to 10,000 km, it merges fluently with other space where there is no atmosphere at all. The atoms and molecules in this area are so far apart that they can travel hundreds of kilometers without colliding with each other. Humans, in their present form, have only been around for 200,000 years. That's 0.004% of Earth's history. Not long, long, really. And here we are now living in a thin, moist layer on a small, wet rock. We call this rock heart. It is the product of the universe's deepest workings, the result of a constant process of creation and destruction, happening all of the universe, all the time, held by chance, the laws of the universe and random events. We are really lucky.